This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of December 16th, 2019. The year is barreling to a close. The decade is barreling to a close. This week has only four astrological events worthy of comment, but each of them is a biggie. We are setting up the stage for all of next year, and for all practical purposes, we are energetically already in 2020. The week begins with opportunities to suit up and step up, to take responsibility for something, to build a structure, to take steps that have something to do with your long-term plan and that involve you acting maturely, reasonably, with regard for ramifications and consequences, furthering priorities that have long-term value to you. This opportunity comes with the clouds of confusion billowing yet again. The spin machine is on overdrive. People aren't being entirely honest. The deception is, in some cases, of the self. Don't believe everything you hear. By the same token, it is possible that the pressure can get big enough to actually push some truth, some guidance, some higher purpose out of all of this. And the combination of those two aspects occurring together, they are a sextile or opportunity aspect between Mars, how we use our action, and Saturn, planet of adulting and consequences, and a square or demand for action between Mercury, planet of communication, and Neptune, transcendent, dreamweaver, cosmic fog machine. Those two together mean that Perhaps some of the action we take can be softened. Perhaps some of the action we take can be informed by more compassion than perhaps we had allowed ourselves to have before, perhaps by some spiritual wisdom actually coming down. But if you keep if you keep in mind the statement on some car mirrors objects in mirror may be closer than they appear this week. Know that what you're seeing on the surface may not at all be what's going on and gauge your actions according to what is the most honorable, mature, responsible thing for you to do, regardless of the line that anyone is feeding you. Then everyone gets a bit of distance on things that are going on. Venus, who rules our social mode, leaves Santa Baby mode of Capricorn, and she goes up into Aquarius, where everybody's a friend. There's a lot of detachment here. There's a need for breathing room, for maneuverability, for just, hey, let's look at things from the bigger picture, which could actually help with a lot of this. She gives sort of a... 30,000 foot high view of things that are going on. She really does have a bigger, let's all be friends, the brotherhood of man potentiality for how she looks at everything. So this could lighten a lot of what is going on and also encourage you to go hang out with some friends. Not a bad thing to do this time of year. And then comes the solstice the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. In the north, it's the longest day of the year. In the south, it's the shortest. In both situations, it feels as if time has stopped. And we get a moment to simply hang in abeyance. This solstice has a terrific amount of energy in the sign of Capricorn, Now, the solstice happens when the sun moves into the sign of Capricorn, but he's got a lot of company there, and we're in the lead-up to the solar eclipse that happens right at Christmas time with Jupiter in the picture. So there is a long-term, let's get really serious, down-to-earth, where do we want to go with this vibe in the air but also this desire to be with people. So notice that you'll have a great selectivity 
in everything that you choose to do. Fewer events, more meaningful events, spending time with people who have stood the test of time, spending time with people that you know you want to travel with. There's a lot of goal-setting potential in this solstice as well. I encourage you to sit in its weird, quiet, still energy. Think about the path that you're building. Think about the foundations, the restructured foundations and situations that you are building. And think about how they might be growing and developing and strengthening next year. Homing thought of the week. What step can I take today toward my long-term vision? Song of the Week, Ring Out Solstice Bells by Jethro Tull. And Image of the Week, I have two, Sitting in Still and Quiet Contemplation. And the other one is a Foucault's Pendulum. You see these sometimes in museums. Pendulums that hang down through several floors and there are little objects in a circle and the pendulum knocks the objects down to show the movement of the earth, and then there's always a moment where the pendulum is just kind of hovering still in the middle before it starts moving again. That's where we are this week. You can learn more about all of this in my Solstice Talk Thursday, December 19, in the evening U.S. time. There's a discount if you sign up before noon Eastern time on Thursday, And whether you attend live or not, a recording will be available afterward. And as always, there's more at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can read my monthly forecast, sign up for my mailing list, listen to my weekly podcasts like this one, and book a session with me. There's also lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal. And I remain deeply grateful to the people who are supporting my work there. Thank you guys so, so much. You'll find me on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the group The Astro Insight Lounge, on Instagram at at K.A. Beal, and on YouTube at The Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.